Hi, Apple Roxo Games on Air, here is Andre, explaining a little more about the emulator that runs the game 79 Pompeii on the homepage. When the Atari 2600 was launched in the late 70s, to play you needed a console connected to a TV and the game cartridge. You can still have this configuration nowadays, but not necessarily because emulators were created over the years. The emulator simulates the system within another one and may even go beyond cartridges with more memory, internet, as present-day resources are much more advanced. This kind of softwares allow the execution of the binary code of a cartridge as if executed in a real Atari 2600 and the game can be played in a window that functions like an old CRT TV. It creates a virtual replica of the console. It is not an experience identical to the original due to the technological differences, but it's very close. Javatari is an emulator for the Atari 2600 created in 2015 by Paulo Augusto Pechin and upgraded since then. As it was written in JavaScript language, the emulator can run on the main web browsers, on PC or on mobile phone, or in systems that use the web browser functions. With that, games become much more accessible. Javatari allows the modification of some configurations that already come preset. Such modifications can be done in JavaScript directly in the code of the page where Javatari will be running. Some of those configurations are more technical, others are easier to understand. We can modify configure the loading URL of the cartridge the netplay resource to play online with other players, time delay to start the game, possibility to change the cartridge, the label colors of the cartridge, screen configurations like CRT mode and the scale, use of paddles, touch screen configurations, page background through CSS styles, among others. It's also possible for us to access configuration menus on the window. A menu to the left and another one to the right after the screen size options. On the system menu we have important functions such as activate netplay, select a previous cartridge, load a dot bin cartridge binary from a local file or from an URL. Save the game, opens a window with the slots to select, allows to save to a file .jst. Load saved game, opens a window with the slots to select, allows to load from a file .jst. On Help and Settings menu, we have a tab with the console shortcuts, a tab for the configuration of the controllers, a tab with shortcuts to general functions, and a tab with the credits. On the console tab, we can see the shortcuts to some functions related to the real console, such as Reset to restart the game, Select that can be used in menus and or inside the game, TV type, black and white or color, etc. On the tab for the configuration of the controllers, it is possible for us to make alterations and adjustments, allowing the players to use the keyboard keys they prefer. On the emulation tab, we can see the shortcuts to several functions, such as toggle pause, screen capture, 
speed adjustment, etc. On the menus, we can also quickly select some options, such as swap the controllers or enable the use of pedals. On mobile phones, touchscreen controllers were included and also buttons for pause and fast forward above the console image under the game screen to make it easier. The possibility of making changes is something very positive and shows that older systems can be adapted to the present days. Javatari can be obtained on the homepage www.javatari.org To use it, just follow the orientations offered by the developer. Javatari is the emulator used on Repolio Roshu Games homepage. As besides being excellent, it allows you to play on the computer or on the mobile phone and even on the car screen. It allows you to play 79 Pompeii on the web browser, what made the game even more accessible. The game 79 Pompeii is available for free on the homepage www.repoliroxo.com The correct spelling is in the description below. Visit the homepage to play, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Thank you, and have you all a wonderful day.